I'm Vishal from uh, Bank of Baroda. I uh, take care of the smart cities and urban development space there. So first of all, I would like to uh, thank Chalwata ma'am for hosting this wonderful event where there's uh, exchange of uh, learnings and best practices among all stakeholders and uh, ELETS for organizing this event and inviting us uh, to present uh, basically what we have from the digital uh, financial services for smart cities. So in the morning session, what we saw uh, from the eminent speakers and uh, dignitaries is uh, for the state of Karnataka and particularly for smart cities, there are various challenges. Uh, when we talk about this infrastructure challenge, then there's a uh, skill set uh, gaps and ability. One of the key, another challenge is financing this project and managing uh, the smart city solutions. So here uh, I will try to present the, how Bank of Baroda can uh, basically help uh, in basically presenting the integrated solution for smart cities and urban development authorities. Before that, I will just go through briefly about uh, explaining Bank of Baroda. So after merger with uh, Dena Bank and Vijaya Bank, now we are the second largest public sector bank in India with a strong presence of more than 9,400 branches uh, and uh, 13,000 plus uh, touch points in India. So these branches are not spread, basically uh, focusing the uh, metros areas or urban areas, like we are very well covered in rural and urban areas also. Uh, it's a full, basically, spectrum uh, financial services company from banking, insurance, asset management, and capital markets also. When we talk, talk about our customer base, in the morning there were discussions about the country's population and all. So if we take uh, our customer base as a, one of the country's population, then this will be the 10th largest country in the world. We are uh, supporting more than uh, 130 million customers. Uh, happily uh, served by 85,000 uh, committed workforce. Uh, so we say that uh, sun never sets in Bank of Baroda. Uh, we are present uh, from east uh, to uh, west of uh, in 21 countries with uh, more than 100 offices uh, across the world. So what are we doing in Karnataka? So we are one of the key uh, banking service providers for the marquee uh, government departments. Uh, starting with uh, our uh, prestigious uh, KUIDFC, we are one of the leading bankers. All these departments somewhere or the other way are connecting the smart city services. For example, we uh, are serving uh, water supply and drainage board. Uh, in power sector, we are like very well present from power development to various distribution companies and also Kannadaka Renew Renewable Energy. Talking about uh, district municipal administration, also services that we are managing. Now, when we talk about smart city, we can't ignore uh, digital technologies. And similarly, digital uh, basically initiatives is our co core focus areas. We have been partnering with various uh, central and state government departments uh, to jointly develop and uh, work with them on the digital payments frameworks. Uh, we, are, we were the initial partner in uh, Government of India's e-marketplace. Even we are the board member of SFAC, uh, e, uh, National Agriculture Market, Indian Port Association. We are integrated with various ports uh, across India. IRCTC, uh, Delhi Development uh, Authority, and uh, Delhi uh, Mumbai Industrial Corridor are the few agencies, government uh, agencies that we uh, deal uh, uh, banking services with them. And we are growing lips and bounds in terms of our digital products, uh, be it uh, fast tag or mobile banking and uh, substantially in the space of uh, UPI payments. So what's there in for uh, smart cities that, so this is the key message that today I have to, uh, want to drive towards uh, the various uh, smart city uh, senior officials who are presenting here and uh, urban development authorities. So we provide a completely integrated holistic financial services and uh, handholding for the uh, urban local body or the uh, special purpose vehicle of a smart city. Starting with a uh, bank account, obviously once you receive a smart city fund, it has to be parked. Uh, this can be uh, basically a source where you can park. It is a wonderful features. It has various, uh, it is auto swip uh, facilities included in this. There are various uh, free services as part of this. Then comes uh, National Common Mobility Card. So in the uh, further slides, I'm going, I, I will discuss more about it. This is going to be the focus area for Bank of Baroda. Then uh, for 
the grant management activities, uh, we are the second largest uh, market player in processing public financial management system. So more than one lakh government agencies uh, are like banking with us on the PFMS platform. So for smart cities also, uh, I think uh, Maua has made it mandatory to process all the payments to PFMS system. So we can help onboard smart cities in PFMS uh, platform and can process their payments accordingly. Uh, at various uh, basically service centers and civic centers, there will be uh, cash transactions and making a payment to uh, uh, contractors and vendors. Our Baroda DigiNex services uh, solution can be very much helpful. It is a very advanced offering. Uh, we have uh, smart paws uh, been developed internally wherein all these uh, professional tax, property uh, charges and electricity charges can be collected uh, in an integrated fashion. So you need not, uh, so your billing systems get integrated with these uh, smart paws machines. Now BBPS has been made mandatory by NPCI and RBI. So all uh, municipal corporations need to integrate with uh, Bharat Bill Pay system. So we are one of the foremost uh, solution provider in that space. Term deposits to park the excess grant amount. This is needed. And uh, as mentioned earlier, we were the initial uh, members of government e-marketplace uh, associating entities. We have uh, the gem pool account that we open up again for the procurement services. This has been mandated by METI and uh, MAUA to do uh, carry out all these procurement activities to this uh, JAM portal account. Then uh, we have uh, integrated internet payment gateway to help uh, process all these online transactions. So this book becomes a complete bouquet of services, a one point of contact wherein a financial partner can uh, be onboarded and you can be rest assured that we will take care of your uh, procurement or processing and grant management, fund management activities. So now we will focus further uh, into the National Common Mobility Card because lately, uh, since last six to uh, 10 months, a uh, lot of uh, public transport authorities or smart cities, this is the key area that they are focusing on. And even as we can see that uh, last year, Honorable Prime Minister launched this One Nation, One Card, which is based on the National Common Mobility uh, Platform. METI has mandated all public uh, transport organizations to uh, implement this open loop EMV national common mobility card. And uh, this has already been implemented in uh, various uh, like 12 cities. India is, uh, this solution is very unique to India. It is nowhere in the world this uh, national common mobility card platform. It has been carried out in a, such a large scale. And uh, to share it with you, the advantages of this card is across, it is a win-win situation for all the stakeholders, be it uh, state government entity or the mission uh, director level at the state, then public transport authorities, it brings in a lot of operational efficiencies, better customer service, and it brings in data insights. So Bank of Baroda was one of the earliest bank uh, in India to launch this NCMC, National Common Mobility Card Debit Come uh, prepaid platform. We tested this card in uh, Delhi Metro Rail also. It was successfully piloted. Uh, even though like it is not implemented is because recently they have floated an RFP to upgrade all this infrastructure to open loop platform. Currently is running on a closed loop platform. So this project was conducted on a pilot mode wherein our card has been used and successfully tested. So to process this issuance acquiring and uh, automatic fare collection system, we have tied up with the strategic partner who is involved in implementation of similar projects all across India. In the sense, more than 35 cities, this solution has been implemented. Now, the beauty of this card is that this can be a consolidated card. You need to just carry this one card for all the services that you can see on the screen, starting from your morning, like you are reaching to office by metro, bus, or uh, your personal car. So if it's a metro rail, you can make a payment through this card. If you are going through your own uh, car, then uh, the parking charges, the toll payments can be done through this uh, single card. Now, uh, going uh, basically from back from office to home, you're doing e-commerce transactions. You are like, you want to pay a municipal taxes. You want to attend some uh, basically meetings, uh, paid events, and Obviously, uh, the hospital uh, payments also can be done through uh, this card. So basically, it's a one-stop solution for all these uh, services that we want to avail. And this has been 
uh, mandated by METI for smart cities and public transport authorities to launch such card. And uh, we will be happy to basically uh, invite smart cities to, uh, if they want a demo of our uh, solutions and services, we will be happy to uh, show it to them and again, take it forward. Thank you.